Hi viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mohammad Sohil and today we are going to continue with Pharmacology First B Pharm 4 semester. Previously we already covered the general pharmacology chapter number 1. In that we already covered the introduction portion, historical landmarks, scope of pharmacology, nature and sources of drugs, essential drug concept and route of drug administration etc. Today we will start chapter number 2 that is pharmacokinetic and in this lecture number 3 we are going to cover complete chapter number 2. Before we start today's session, it's my request to all of you. Please watch previous lecture number 1 and 2 for better understanding. So without any further delay, let's begin with our today's session that is pharmacokinetic. First of all, introduction of pharmacokinetic. Simply pharmacokinetic is the branch of pharmacology that deals with the study of what does body do to the drug. Or pharmacokinetic is the quantitative study of drug movement in, through and out of the body. It is the study of process by which a drug is absorbed, distributed, metabolized and eliminated by the body. It is also known as ADME. The absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion of a drug all involve passage across cell membrane. Pharmacokinetic properties are affected by the route of drug administration and dose of administered drug. Now coming to the mechanism of pharmacokinetic. So this diagram shows the mechanism of pharmacokinetic. Let's assume that we administer paracetamol via oral route. After administration of drug it get absorbed. Simply absorption process start. After absorption drug is distributed throughout the body by using transporters. And after distribution drug get metabolized in the liver. After successfully metabolized drug excreted via urine from the body. So this is the basic mechanism behind pharmacokinetic. In further slide, we will discuss it in details. As you can see in this slide, the diagrammatic representation of ADME that is absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion. Now coming to first, that is absorption. Absorption is the process by which drug enters into systemic circulation. The rate of absorption of drug is determined by the properties of drug and biological membrane of the body. It takes place from different route of administration and it is affected by the permeability of the drug and absorption site. Now what is bioavailability? It is the fraction of administered drug that reaches the systemic circulation in an unchanged form. Now what is biological membrane? Biological membrane are the outermost layer of the cell consisting of phospholipid bilayer along with membrane protein and sugar molecule embedded within it. It maintains the integrity of the cell and allows transport of ions and molecules across it. Drug reaches into systemic circulation through membrane transport which are of the following first passive transport, second active transport, third facilitated transport and last is endocytosis. First passive transport. It does not require energy. Passive transport is the process in which drug molecules are transported by diffusion process along a concentration gradient across the lipid bilayer. It is known as passive transport or passive diffusion. This type of transport does not require energy. It is directly proportional to the concentration gradient across the membrane, the lipid water partition coefficient of the drug and the membrane surface area exposed to the drug. The greater of the partition coefficient is the higher is the concentration of drug in the membrane and the faster in the diffusion. Then second active transport. The transport of molecule across the membrane against a concentration gradient that require energy is known as active transport. This energy can be obtained from ATP hydrolysis that is primary active transport or from an electrochemical gradient of an ion such as sodium or hydrogen that is secondary active transport. Now coming to the last that is endocytosis. It is a form of active transport in which a cell transport molecule into the cell by engulfing them using energy. Endocytosis include pinocytosis that is cell drinking and phagocytosis that is cell eating. As you can see this is the diagram of endocytosis. Now, volume of distribution is equal to total amount of drug absorbed divided by plasma drug concentration. 
Now what are the factors that affect volume of distribution? First, lipid water, partition coefficient of drug, second, pK value of the drug, third, degree of plasma protein binding, fourth, affinity to different tissues, five, fat lean body mass ratio, and last is diseases. Now coming to the barrier of distribution. First, BBB that is blood brain barrier. Parit Penetration of drug into brain and cerebrospinal fluid require crossing of blood brain barrier and blood CSF barrier. The blood brain barrier is made up of capillary endothelial cell tightly joined together lacking paracellular spaces. BBB are lipophilic so they do not allow the movement of non-lipid drugs. They also contain enzymes that prevent entry of catecholamine in active forms then second placental barrier placental membrane are lipoidal so they allow the entry of lipophilic drug and restrict the entry of hydrophilic drug placental barrier limit foetal exposure of maternally administered drug then what is plasma protein binding most of the drug have physicochemical affinity for the plasma protein and get reversibly bound to it Acetic drug bind to plasma albumin and basic drug bind to alpha acid glycoprotein. Protein bound drugs generally have longer duration of action as they remain in the body for long time. Binding of some benzodiazepine that is fluorazepam 10%, alprazolam 70% and diazepam 99%. Then tissue storage. Drug may accumulate in a specific organ by active transport or get bound to a specific tissue component. Drug is stored in tissues are unequally distributed and have large volume of distribution and longer duration of action. Then coming to third that is metabolism. Metabolism is also known as biotransformation means chemical alteration of drug into body to less toxic form. The elimination of xenobiotic depends upon its conversion into water soluble compounds catalyzed by enzyme. The primary site of drug metabolism is liver. Metabolism also occur in lungs, kidney, plasma and blood. Metabolism is divided into two types that is phase 1 metabolism and second phase 2 metabolism. Let's discuss one by one. First phase 1 metabolism. Phase 1 reaction introduces a functional group that is OH, NH2 and SH and usually result in increase of hydrophilicity of drug molecule. It include oxidation that is it is the most important drug metabolizing reaction. Oxidation involves addition of oxygen or negatively charged radicals. It is mostly carried out by monooxygenase enzyme in liver. Example cytochrome P450 and NADPH etc. Then second reduction. It is the reverse of oxidation. Reduction is the removal of oxygen or addition of hydrogen. Drug like alcohol, aldehyde and quinine are ad reduced. It includes cytochrome P450 enzyme act on opposite direction in reduction process. Then third hydrolysis. It is the cleavage of drug molecule by addition of water. Different enzyme catalyze hydrolytic reaction are carboxy, esterase, peptidase, epoxide, hydrolysis, etc. It occur in liver, intestine, plasma and other tissues. Then fourth, cyclization. It is the formation of ring structure from straight chain compound, example proguenil. Then last, decyclization. It is the opening of ring structure from cyclic compound, example barbiturates. Now coming to second reaction that is phase 2 metabolism. It include glucuronide conjugation, sulfate conjugation, glutathione conjugation, amino acid conjugation, acetylation and methylation. Let's discuss one by one. First, glucuronide conjugation. It is the conjugation reaction carried out by uridine diphosphoglucuronic acid that is UDPGA. Then second, sulfate conjugation. It is the conjugation reaction carried out by sulfotransferase that is sulfs. Example, methyl dopa and steroid. Third, glucose glutathione conjugation. It is the conjugation reaction carried out by glutathione as transferase that is GST. It is responsible for inactivation of highly reactive quinine or 
epoxide intermediates form during metabolism example paracetamol then fourth amino acid conjugation it is the conjugation reaction carried out by glycine taurine or glutamine example salicylates then five acetylation it is carried out by acetyl coenzyme a drug having amino or hydrazine residues are conjugated by acetylation example sulfonamides isoniazide and last is methylation it is carried out by methyl transferase drugs having amine and phenols can be methylated by methyl transferase example adrenaline histamine captopril etc now coming to very important that is first pass metabolism it is the metabolism of drug during its passage from site of absorption to systemic circulation all orally administered drug are exposed to drug metabolizing enzyme in intestinal wall and liver where they first reach through portal vein so this is called first pass metabolism or fpm now coming to last that is elimination which is also known as excretion excretion is the process of removal of drug and its metabolite through different body part like kidney lungs bile intestine skin saliva and milk by using kidney majority of drug is eliminated by using lung alcohol and general anesthetic are eliminated by using intestine ampicillin erythromycin and tetracycline is eliminated by using saliva and sweet lithium potassium iodide and rifampin are eliminated and by using milk lipid soluble drugs are eliminated now coming to clearance clearance of a drug is the theoretical volume of plasma from which drug is completely removed in unit time it is summarized as cl is equals to rate of elimination divided by plasma drug concentration now what is plasma half life that is t half t half of a drug is the time taken for reduction of plasma concentration of drug to half of its original value so this is all about today's session in this way our unit number 1 that is general pharmacology is completed in next lecture we will start unit number second till then take care and bye bye